Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Martridge here with your outlook for the weekend, January 2nd and 3rd, 2016. And we're going to have a couple seasonable days here this weekend, not looking at any precipitation. We're going to have a, uh, we're, gonna, we're still going to call it mostly cloudy across our far northeastern areas here, uh, across northeastern PA, maybe northern New Jersey. And I think uh, as you get further, further south you go in our coverage area, the more sunny you get today. So uh, you're closer to the high pressure, so you'll have. Uh, still an inversion possible up here in northeastern PA, which has been giving us, us those clouds for the last couple days and really messing with our forecast here a little bit. Uh, but I do think that just hold down today for northeastern PA, and then that does it that will uh, uh, thin out as we get into um, into Sunday here. So it's Saturday is the day we're dealing with that yet, yeah, just for northeastern PA and far northwestern New Jersey, if that's still a possibility, but elsewhere, east central PA, the rest of northern New Jersey, and point south should be at least partly cloudy, if not uh, if not mostly sunny, as you head further south in our coverage area here. So, with that being said, uh, nothing much going on uh, the next couple of days here. Sunday, again, is going to be a nice day. Uh, just uh, seasonably cold, so uh, n not uh, maybe uh, near normal temperatures, as all we're expecting. And then we're going to have this little disturbance that's going to move through here on Monday, uh, it's going to be pressing up from north to south. It's hard to see. It's this this uh, disorganized mess here that could spark a few flurries as it moves from north to south across our coverage area, and that's all we're expecting from that here on Monday. And then high pressure is going to settle right over top of the area here uh, for Monday, Tuesday. It's going to be, be uh, bottoming out, uh, bottoming out the cold for both of those days here, especially here on Tuesday when the high pressure is sitting right over top of us. Uh, should be especially cold. And then, uh, again, no precipitation this entire time frame. Uh, our six-day forecasts run through Thursday, and we're staying completely dry through this point. This is a look at the, uh, the very end of Thursday here, so you can see everything uh, off to our west here. This is going to be a next uh, another interesting event that's going to be happening here. Uh, what looks to be here on Friday or Friday and a Saturday. I do think it's one of those deals where you're going to have an area of low pressure, very weak area of low pressure. It's going to move up to our west here and uh, force redevelopment of another system offshore here. Uh, and when it does that, and it's going to head off to the uh, off in this direction. So uh, this is again, this is on the uh, this is looking at Friday here. I think it might actually start off as uh, some light rain here across most of our area, but then it's going to transition to snow. This could be our first uh, accumulating snow event, although it will be a very minor event here, we think, on Friday. The one behind it is one we're watching for, and that'll be uh, later in the weekend here, probably on Sunday. So um, we're keeping an eye on a couple systems here in the long range, but uh, it does look like it's going to get a lot more active here with a, with a kind of an appetizer kind of low here, low with a light to moderate event. And then going over to a possible major event, uh, if the ensembles are correct anyway, for later in the weekend. In the meantime, we're going to be high and dry, and we're going to have temperatures very cold, like we said here on Monday and Tuesday. Here are the high temperatures expected here for Monday. Uh, barely getting to freezing for our central areas here, and staying in the 20s for far northern areas here. Uh, still uh, mid to upper 30s here as you get down to Delaware and South Jersey. But then the real cold comes in the following day. Here's a look at Tuesday. Uh, just about everywhere in our coverage area, staying in the 20s, maybe getting close to 30 here in Philadelphia, South Jersey, and Delaware, but I uh, wouldn't bank on that either. It looks like it's going to be a very cold day here on Tuesday. And here's the overnight lows we're looking at on Monday night, very cold temperatures. These are single-digit lows up here in northeastern PA, northwestern New Jersey, uh, Sussex, New Jersey here. It looks like you have a temperature of 9 degrees. And then uh, up here, the Scranton Wilkesbury area here, about seven. Mount Pocono, five. Allentown, 13, 14 in Reading. So you can see what's going on here uh, Monday night. Very cold night. Um, so there will be the coldest air, obviously, by far for the season. And this will be just a quick shot before we start to moderate slightly, slightly as we get into the middle of the week. I'm Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Marcher. So that is your outlook for the weekend. January 2nd and 3rd, 2016. Have a great Saturday and Sunday.